Oh, what's up everybody? Once again, it's your boy Brand Man Sean. And I gotta talk about something that's been bothering me for a good minute, man. And that is influencers. This lie or this incorrect or lack of information about influencers. Let me break it down, start back historically. Most of the time people say, hey, a good influencer is not just someone who has a lot of followers. That's right. It's somebody who also has this engagement. Don't just look and see if they have a lot of followers. Do they have engagement? Now you know they don't have fake followers. Now you know that their followers actually cares about them. And those are the people that you want to follow up with. That's pretty much become the agreed upon thing. But there's one step further, people. I swear it's one step further that a lot of folks are missing straight up. Engagement does not equal influence. That's pretty much it. Engagement does not equal influence. What do I mean by that? Well, you know what? First, let's rewind back for a little bit of story time. Now, I had this homegirl. This homegirl was throwing an event and she was so excited. She had this host that was an IG influencer. When I say IG influencer, I'm talking about this person had 150 something thousand followers. Real talk, real followers because these people were engaged. Matter of fact, she was super excited because the person was so cool that they start posting her event pretty early. And then she said, Sean, I really want you to come to this event. Like for real, for real, come to this event, check it out. And I said, okay, okay. I come out to the event and I get there late, mind you. And this is what I see. I see about 15 people in the whole venue, including myself, including the probably about five artists that were performing and their friends and the host. Why was nobody that interested in coming to see this person? Because that person was not an influencer, at least not in that way. Being an influencer means being able to actually influence people in their decision making, having a certain level of trust. This person, I believe, if I remember correctly, was basically like a little comedian and they had got them skits going and people were going there to their page to laugh, but they weren't going to really see what this person was about. There was no buy-in. As much as people hate Kim Kardashian, a lot of people hate on her, there's a lot of people that look to her for influence, right? They look at what she's wearing. They look at the lips, the butt, and all them things. So keep this in mind when you pick your influencers for your campaigns, who you you're trying to pay because you can end up wasting a lot of money paying somebody who has views and engagement but zero influence. There's a lot of people that I know that I'm cool with or I might even pick up the phone if they call, but I'm not really checking to them for what shoes they're wearing, right? Jay-Z has a lot of influence, right? But nobody's really looking at his sneakers, at least not on the level that they might be looking at Kanye's sneakers, right? This is just one specific category and this is very important for you guys to consider for your music as well. Jay-Z is obviously an influential person, but they're not looking at him for fashion as much as they're looking at Kanye for fashion. As a matter of fact, people are now looking at some pretty ugly sneakers just because it's Kanye. Like the latest, I know some people might disagree, but the latest EV collection type stuff, mm. but people are buying. So a great example is a homeboy, is a rapper, I'm not gonna mention his name or anything like that. He went to the page of a very popular dancer named Kidda the Great. Now Kidda is that nigga. Like Kidda can dance his butt off, he's dope. However, I told him, bro, don't pay buddy to put your music on his page and dance to your music. And I tried to explain him beforehand why it would not work. This is why. I said, yo, people go to his page to see him dance. I know there's a lot of views on his videos, but they're going to his page to see him dance. They're not really listening or caring too much about the music that's in the background. They're just watching his dance to the beat. So his influence is more so dance based. There's probably a lot of dancers that love him and can be influenced by him, watch his moves. But because he's dancing all the time and that's what's on his page, no one's really going to hear the music. They just want to see him dance again. And the same thing for a lot of these pages where they're twerking all the time. I'm sure people throw money at him all the time. However, people are not really checking the twerk pages for twerk. They going for the booty. We know what people are going for. Well, there are also people who actually like twerk and study and they want to dance, you know, twerk themselves and they're looking for twerk moves, whatever. But point is, people are not going to those pages for the music that's being listened to. You might have some people who drizzle over and actually want to listen to your song and they really get caught by it, but it's nowhere near as impactful as going to a different page where someone actually has influence and they're not diluting their brand in the sense of the music that they might listen to. 
Now the same artist that I told to not use Kid of the Great also saw amazing results in this other campaign that I mentioned, right? And there's these girls, he got posted on the girls page, had nothing to do with them actually dancing to the song or anything like that. They were just kind of listening to it in the background more so. However, these girls do not post music all the time. So now the people who are following them and have somewhat influenced by them, when that song gets played by them, they think they actually like that song. So now these people that I like, like this song, I want to know more about that song. What makes them think that's so great? But if I'm just dancing to songs all the time, it has nothing to do with whether I like the song or not. You don't really think that I love this song just because I'm dancing to it. But if I did a song on one of my pages and I was just like, yo, this is the best song ever and people never see me talk about music, y'all are going to probably listen to the song because I'm usually talking about artist campaigns. I'm not really talking about this is my favorite song on this channel. It's the same way you should look at everything. There's context. So not only is it followers, engagement, but then you want to look at influence and influence has multiple categories, right? Influence has first, do people actually look to this person and actually make decisions or see value in this person's opinion? And then the other layer is when you analyze these people in their pages, what likely is their influence faced towards? Like, are they are they influencing other people to dance? Or are they influencing other people to dance to specific songs? Are they just making people laugh? And if they are making people laugh and they can they do a video in a unique way where the song seems so enjoyable that they wanna check that song too? Like there's so many ways and it's a little bit more nuanced than just saying this person has followers and engagement. I had to put that out there. Maybe one day I might go deeper with very specific examples or some things like that. I don't know. I think that's specific enough because there's a wide range of you guys who have different scenario so you gotta use it for your own situation but i would like to know what you guys think i hope that was helpful but other than that if you like this video go ahead hit that like button if you like it you might as well share it and if you're not subscribed you know what to do hit that subscribe